All right, I'm on hole number two of the 2020 Spring Major. I'm in Tuesday's qualifying round in the Ricky Division. I may or may not qualify today. This is a this may be a practice day. I feel pretty good on these holes. It's just a matter of executing when you're out there. It's the shot. I I feel real comfortable with the drive shots. So it's just a matter of executing on the shots going to the cup. And I am doing a rough bump on this, and I am doing a grizzly. And a, and a Titan, only because I have more Titans in this particular account. So I'm going to use one of those Titans. I've got 12 packs, so I got a few of them. And a Grizzly. Now, the way that the sand is running here, I'll go back and look at that, that image. So the way that the sand's running, so normally if you're pulling over sand, and and you can kind of you can kind of look at the way that the sand is set up right here. So over here in this portion of the sand, you can see this dark shadow. And so the sand is going like this. So like here's the fairway and then it drops down into the sand. So you've got a really big drop. So when you pull across that and the wind in the tournament's going in this direction. So when you pull across that, it makes a hop right here and it it's hard to account for this section. It's almost a ring, so it'd be. This is one of those sections where you pull it out and then you push back a ring, in order to account for it. And normally, I don't like the like if if the wind was blowing like you know where our landing spot was here, and I had to I had to deal with this. I'd pick a different landing spot. I'd bounce from the island, or I'd bounce from over here and do backspin. I'd I'd pick some other spot because I don't like dealing with that, especially on this narrow of a fairway. But we can hit up into this area right here, and up here the sand goes like this. So the sand's coming up, and it just goes up to the fairway. So as you're pulling out into the sand, it's it's not distorting your rings. You're not getting any jumps. So you're getting a pretty true read on it. And the fairway up here is a little bit wider. And with a grizzly, you just about have two rings in the rough. So if you do make a mistake um, and hit a great to the left or the right, you're still going to be potentially you could still be in the fairway or excuse me, in the rough. You start hitting two rings great to the left or the right. Now you might be in a spot of bother. So I got it. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Come on. I'm still playing. I'm still here. There you go. The game was like, hey, dude, you left. Hold on one second. Hold on. I'm getting a little lag. Let me fire this back up. Hold on. All right. Fired it up, cleared the catch. Turn my grid on. Came to a head last week. I was getting so much lag. I ran a bunch of diagnostics on my stuff. I uh, took the game off, put the game back on. The server's about cleaning my catch. So. That's something I have to remember to do more often. But this game is uh, is glitchy sometimes. You can never tell if it's glitchy on my end or glitchy on my opponent's end or where it's glitchy at. Let's check my opponent out. Current master. Another guy that was the player that was in my divisional bracket. In my 77 divisional bracket last week. Had uh, 400 and some odd million earned in their career and last week alone they did 300 million so you can tell where they're up playing in order to win 300 million in a week they're not playing tour seven i can tell you that <laughs> all right i'm doing a 20 percent wind adjustment here that's 1.2 times 4.2 equals 5.04 rings. And I am right at max club. Dead center in the middle. Right at it. And look at look at Playdemic turning my grid off. Now I will tell you that it's not against their terms of service to use a grid. And I do not give Playdemic permission to 
mess with the apps that are on my device. And yet their app turns that off. Now, if I was handicapped and had accessibility issues, I could, uh, I could sue them for messing with my uh, accessibility stuff. That's why it's an inherent program in Apple. So something that's not against their terms of service, they're the, it's the only program on my device that uh, interferes with my grid. I can run any other program, do any other thing on there, and it doesn't interfere with my grid, yet Playdemic, it will uh, stop. So you can say I'm wearing a tin hat, but uh, the deal is, is that when the only program that stops it is this program. That's suspicious. All right, that was hole number two. That adjustment that I have, I hit that great, but there's a funnel there and even hitting it great, you have a pretty, I mean, you could potentially, if you got your wind adjustment wrong, still get caught in that funnel if you have your speed right. And so that shot is dead on. That is definitely a money shot. It's a 20% wind adjustment using a three power ball. So I'm right at my red line with a grizzly. You can use, I mean, whatever long iron you have, that shot will work. I did notice earlier today I was using a backbone with my lower level account. And it's like a backbone. I think that backbone is like level nine. And the ball guy was lying a little. So when I ran it all the way up to the cup, it ran past. So the first time I shot it, when I was actually on hole number two, I had it all the way to the cup and I had it terminating right at the cup, just like it was right there. And it actually hit the flagpole and went, it went over the hole. And then I came back and I shot it in one of the shootouts and I left it a little bit back and it probably needs to be like a, at least a good square back. I think it was right at just a slightly less than three top spin is what I was using on there um, on my lower level account. And it was putting me right at the cup. So the ball guide is lying a little bit if you don't have a really good ball guide. So having a four point something ball guide with that Grizzly versus your three something ball guide with your backbone or your Saturn, your those clubs may be lying a little bit and it does run out a little bit. All right. That was hole number two. Thanks for watching.